This today is an act of institutional betrayal. And our institutions betray survivors of male sexual violence. And we need to work within and without the systems to start having what is known as institutional courage. And you can learn more about institutional courage by looking that up. There's actually a center for it housed at Stanford University. It's based on research. It's informed by data. And these are concrete practices and actions that our, that our institutions can take to respond to workplace harassment and male sexual violence in ways that both prevent, address, and have postvention to make sure that women and all people work in environments that are free from harassment and sexual violence because we have so much to offer. We need to be able to contribute without fear, without terror, of violence, of our voices being muted, our contributions being diminished, without fear of retaliation. And you know what the great poignancy is of this day, why I'm in New York City? I don't live here. I am here to be at the United Nations to advocate for Convention 190 the convention to eliminate all forms of harassment and male sexual violence in the world of work.